uncovering your financial blind spots in our last episode we discussed about how to come out of your financial mistakes this time we are going to discuss about what are all the financial blind spots which is actually making us take some wrong financial decisions or which is helping us do financial mistake so if we could identify these blind spots and find a solution to remove those blind spots then you will be better equipped to achieve your financial goals am i right welcome to financial planning 101 series your road map to achieve your financial goals episode number 11 Hi this is Ramalingam from holisticinvestment.in we help individual investors like you to take right financial decision so that you can reach your financial goals faster and smarter what are all the blind spots that is helping us to do past mistakes why do we commit financial mistakes number 1 lack of clarity i have seen people coming to me and telling me uh, i am paying an ema of 40000 rupees or something like it is getting stopped from next month onwards tell me where this 40000 can be diverted okay another client i have got a variable pay of 5 lakhs which is sitting in my bank account tell me where this can be parked otherwise it can get spent somehow both of them have a good intention instead of spending they want to invest save and invest but for their investment do they have clarity do they have context no right number one they are not very clear where this 30000 rupees have to be invested and they are not very sure where this 10 lakhs or 5 lakhs very will pay have to be invested they themselves is not clear because of that they will not be able to communicate this to an insurance agent or a bank relationship manager so an uh, insurance agent or bank relationship manager will not be able to understand what you actually need so as he is not able to understand what you actually need they will start giving what is their target if they have target on some three policies they will recommend you that this is where miss buying or miss selling starts you are not clear about where you want suppose if you have clarity on where you are financially and where you want to go financially you will get direction because you are not having any direct clarity and direction things are scattered you buy some insurance policy you buy some mutual funds you invest in ppf here and there everything is scattered because there is no clarity and direction then i have seen clients who come to me and tell me uh, ramlingam i have invested in this particular uh, uh, investment i am earning good money i am saving good investments i am investing in good schemes after doing some facts and reasoning i am doing it but somehow i feel that things are not under my control it is because your income expenses goals investments all the four are sitting in four different cars that is why you feel that things are not under your control right so to bring this under your control you should have a strong process based approach you should not have a product based approach so lack of control is another blind spot which you have to understand also lack of confidence are we taking the right financial decision or am i taking the right investment decision we are not very sure as an investor you take an investment decision today or financial decision today down the line after 2 years people regret for the same decision i have seen investors coming to me and telling me coming am i signed up for an insurance policy 2 years back i took uh, a second flat for rental purpose i took this pms 2 years back now i am regretting for taking it can be a ulip it can be pms it can be mutual funds it can be a second property but when they signed up it all looked okay now they are regretting for it because their perspective about the scheme and their situation get expanded right now 
that is why like now like you are regretting for that decision even now if you correct all these investments and make it suitable for you today down the line after 2 years they will regret for taking the different decision today because their perspective will continuously get expanded that is why you are not able to confidently take any decision if you have a 360 degree perspective only this problem can be solved so our blind spots are lack of clarity lack of direction lack of control and lack of confidence how this can be solved by creating a customized financial road map for you. what is a financial road map where are you financially with your assets and liabilities that is your starting point here where do you need to go over a bit of time right maybe your first uh, point next point maybe repaying all your loans buying a property kids education kids higher education kids wedding your retirement from retirement to life expectancy regular inflation adjusted income these are all major milestones on your road map on the other side of the road map you have got cash flow right how much savings you already have how much savings you will be able to bring year after year till you are assumed age of retirement now combine this cash flow and milestones and create a road map don't create a plan just based on cash flow people like tell like uh, this is how much i have savings tell me where this can be invested. people tell me these are all the goals i have for my kids education vacation planning for retirement i have to invest for goals also people plan separately no combine cash flow and milestones and create a road map it becomes a firm road map it will give you 360 degree perspective from now to retirement retirement to life expectancy gives you 360 degree perspective it integrates your income expenses goals and investments you will not have a stand alone you know, like investment everything will be integrated things will not be scattered anymore everything will be integrated into one single financial road map right because this road map addresses your blind spot from the root removes your blind spot from the root lack of clarity lack of direction lack of confidence all this is what creating we can correct this now and create a new portfolio but it will work only on the symptom only on the effect the cause is not addressed by creating a road map you are addressing the cause you are removing the lack of clarity and providing clarity road map gives you clarity road map gives you confidence road map gives you right direction right road map gives you control over your financial future so that way when you create a road map you are not simply working on the effect you are working on the cause see good investment decision making is surprisingly little do with that moment of decision you are investing in a you like you are investing in a mutual fund you are investing in a property it is not on that decision to take that decision if you have a road map everything is planned well in advance now you know like because you have a road map that road map will give context to your investments saying okay because everything is planned well in advance before you come to the decision making mode this road map will give clarity like okay you have got 5 lakhs as a variable pay or you are going to divert your emi which is getting stopped from next month 40000 rupees into a different investment scheme right this is the decision making moment but road map is created well in advance because of that you know okay 5 lakhs as variable pay you have got you are replacing your car in 3 months from now there is a shortfall of 2 lakhs out of this 5 lakhs 2 lakhs has to be parked for 3 months you want to repay your entire housing loan in 3 years from now so out of this 5 lakhs 2 lakhs can be diverted toward towards repaying your prepayment of your loans 1 lakh basically for your retirement which is 20 years from now this context is given by road map so immediately quickly you can take a decision right you don't take the decision just by uh, looking at how much you have your road map gives you complete clarity direction 
So before coming to the decision making moment itself, you have got a lot of clarity. You have got a lot of confidence in taking the decision. It is given only by your financial roadmap. You can compare this roadmap similar to your Google Map. Google Map tells you, okay, this is where I am. This is where I have to go. First point, second point, third point, final destination. It will tell you how much traffic you have, how much time it will take, how much kilometer it will take. Everything it tells you. Similar to that, when you have a roadmap, financial roadmap, now I want to buy a property, kids education, my retirement. No? When you give all these things, it will tell you, is it possible to achieve or not? Right? Yes, you are. You will be able to achieve this. No, you will not be able to achieve. Now you want to retire at the age of 50 with the excess regular income. Is it possible to achieve or not? Yes, it is possible to achieve. No, it is not possible to achieve with the excess regular income at the age of 50. At the age of 50, you will be able to retire only with X minus 25%. If you are particular about excess regular income, you have to retire by 53. This will tell you what is possible and what is not possible. Right. Say you want to buy a second property now. Generally, anyone who wants to buy a second property, what are all the things they look up? They are buying second property just for rental purpose. Right? As an additional investment, pass it on to the next generation, they are buying that property. What, do the, what are the things you generally consider? Do I have enough down payment money? Uh, can I accommodate EMI in my budget? Uh, what kind of rental yield I get? Who is the builder? What kind of prospects uh, you have on the property? All these things you will uh, check. If everything is okay, you will sign up. Down the line after two, three years, you will realize money is going towards huge illiquid assets. My retirement is around the corner. Kids are growing up. Huge money is locked in illiquid asset. I should have invested in a better financial investment, not in an illiquid real estate investment. You will realize, right? You will not realize when you are taking the decision. You are realizing only now because you don't have a roadmap. If you had a roadmap, right, and you are planning to buy a second property, we will take that goal and put it in the roadmap and see. Because you are adding a new goal, your roadmap will reroute similar to your Google map and tell you, right? Okay, because you are buying this property, now there is an additional cash outflow. Because of that, your retirement will be postponed from 50 to 55. Now you can take a decision whether to go for this property or not. Yes, buying a property and passing it on to next generation is more important. I'm comfortable working for five more years. No, no, in my IT industry, like working after 50 seems to be not guaranteed. So job uncertainty is there. Let me plan only for my retirement age of 50. Let me avoid buying one more property now. So you will not buy something and regret for it later. On that moment itself, it will reroute and warn you whether to go for it or not. That is the advantage of having a roadmap. And this roadmap integrates your income, expenses, goals, and investments. Right? Uh, because of that, you will have complete control over your investments. Any decision making becomes much easier. It will not take much time to decide things. It becomes much easier for you to decide quickly. Right? This is like a software update to your financial life. When there is a software update or when there is an, an update in the app, it becomes easier for you to navigate, right? It, it, it increases the user experience. Similarly, when you create a financial plan, you will be able to easily navigate through your financial future. It becomes much easier. You will be able to take all financial and investment decision much easier. And it brings better performance and stability to your portfolio because your financial roadmap gives clarity, direction, when you are withdrawing, everything is very much clear. Based on that, you will be able to pick and choose the right investment issue. So that way, a good financial roadmap or financial plan, what is it? It is allocating your cash inflow with what is more important to you. What is? It is not about your friends, you know, like requirement, your colleagues requirement. It is not about you know, like what is there in the stock market whatsapp group it focuses on you what is important to you achieving kids future achieving your retirement goal 
achieving buying a property these things are more important to you going for an international vacation yes it is a nice to have gold not a must to have gold but investing in crypto you know investing in fdo trading these things like whether uh, these investments will help you in a sure shot way to achieve these goals that you have to check up right it focuses on you not on what is important for your friend many times we take investments which are done by our friends which are done by our colleagues we try to copycat and replicate what they are doing it we'll simply mimic what they are doing no you have to your friend may have dual income his wife is also working for you your wife is not working so you can't afford to take such a risk so you have to customize your road map you know like we all have a different road map we all going on a different journey right so that way i would strongly suggest to create a customized road map by allocating your cash inflow with what is more important to you your financial goals many a times we straight away focus on the end product okay i have got this much money to be invested tell me where i can invest somebody suggests you know like an insurance policy somebody suggests a pms somebody suggests fd first focus on you uh, in, in this slide you know, if you look at it you are at the center first focus on you then based on your requirement find out what is your goal as a family to achieve that goal what is the plan what is the road map then for to achieve then for that road map what kind of investment vehicle you have to choose right investment vehicle or product comes at the end not at the beginning that way you plan it it is basically an inside out approach and not outside in approach it is basically an inside out approach what is inside what is your requirement go for it don't go for what is outside different products are there don't pick and choose and put it in your portfolio no what is inside your requirement then search which scheme can meet your requirement that way focus on that and do it if you are not having clarity on your goals if you are not having proper direction proper road map then you yourself will be will be not clear then bank relationship manager or your agent will not be clear about your requirement then they will select schemes which are in their target so these investments will help meet their target will not help you achieve your target so that is why i would strongly suggest avoid falling as a target to your bank relationship manager's target or your agent's target focus on your financial target and uh, make your bank relationship manager or agent investment agent or mutual fund distributor to support you in achieving your financial target that is very much important or creating a road map is a process based approach not a product based approach you follow a step by step process wealth creation is a long term journey you are achieving step by step you are not achieving it straight away it will take time you will be able to achieve it but follow the process right without process straight away you select a product you are believing in luck right so in the outcome is based on having a good process have good process so that you will be able to as outcome you will be able to achieve all your financial goals at the right time your wealth creation becomes much easier with financial goals so focus on the process and create a financial road map for you if you have any questions on creating road map or achieving your financial goals feel free to book an appointment with our certified financial planner they will be clarifying all your questions on creating road map and creating right process to meet your financial goals they'll assist you in removing your financial blind spots identifying blind financial blind spots and uncovering and removing your financial blind spots they will be able to assist you to book the free appointment i have given a link below this video in the description you can book your slot with your financial planner we regularly organize insightful investment webinars you can attend those investment webinars i have give, given one more link to participate in the webinar right uh, hope you like this video i'll again meet you in yet another useful video thank you bye bye